there are eight diseases, eight chronic metabolic diseases. They existed before 50 years ago, but they have jumped in prevalence so severely, so severely that these eight, when you group them and conglomerate them, now account for 75% of all healthcare costs in the United States. And I'll name them. Here they are. Type 2 diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, cardiovascular disease, cancer, dementia, fatty liver disease, polycystic ovarian disease. These are mitochondrial diseases. The point is that there is not one, one of, not one of those diseases was a child's disease. And now they're all child diseases. We never saw type 2 diabetes in a child before. And now one out of every three new diabetes diagnoses in children is type 2. Fatty liver disease was the disease of alcohol. And now five-year-olds have fatty liver disease. Children are the canaries in the coal mine. Children are getting the diseases of alcohol. Children are getting the diseases of aging. Children are getting the diseases of mitochondrial dysfunction when they never did before. How come? Because they're eating processed food. Processed food is a relatively recent invention. Started after World War II because we st started subsidizing commodities during the farm, you know, first farm bill, you know, 1933 with the depression and the dust bowl and world war II basically figured out how to process food and deliver it on mass to, you know, the army. And then we, you know, realized we could make money doing this. And it was good for waste because, you know, it, it increased shelf life. And so we went into mass production mode of processed food. And that's when the chronic metabolic diseases started, you know, rearing their ugly head and started being seen in children. So there was no such thing as fatty liver disease until 1980 in anyone. Today, 45% of American adults have fatty liver disease and 25% of children when this wasn't even a disease before. So you got to look to say, all right, what happened? And the bottom line is processed food happened.